Nice or what up? Oh yeah, he's got it. It's the big, big, big one. I need someone else in the skip with Holy me. Shit. They saw all it eat. This is the one. Let her go. Let her go. This is definitely the, the hardest pull we've had. <laughs> That's Jaws. That was full Jaws. All buoys waking away. Hey, Mom, look at me. It'll be the fish we're here for when it's on the deck and it's tagged and it's let go. You know, capturing great white sharks of this size is not really very much fun, right? It's not like your traditional fishing. You can't use a fishing rod and, you know, they run and they come back in. That just takes too long, would exhaust the fish. So it requires very heavy tackle, hand lines, buoys, puts a lot more pain into the fisherman's body and particularly their hands. And uh, it's just not something you'd go out and do for fun, but it's important. So it can be extremely dangerous. You know, we clearly have a big shark on here, but if it's a big female, it could be the one that helps us make a big leap forward. This could be our hardest fight yet. Two on. More slider coming behind you, Paul. Yep. The bitter end, you want to switch out with this one? Just for Three on. We need to carry one more buoy for the bitter end. Four on. We'll apply a little power in reverse. Yeah, after fighting the sharks for a while and primarily just getting in a position where the, the boat is in front of the shark, you got the shark in a lead. We began to realize that it was important once the shark settled down, we gotta get these balls down toward the face of the shark. We gotta lift the shark up to the surface of the ocean and try to like pin it to the surface of the ocean with these buoys. They're all in the chain. Wow. Move back. Doesn't get any closer than that. It's right in her face. I like that a lot. I think the best thing to do is for me to apply power. You allow her to slip away from us and we spin the yeah, boat. I'm, saying, I'm just slowly letting her go. Give you a chance to spin since it doesn't spin real fast. So once those balls are next to the shark's face, we can let it out a little bit as we go in reverse and spin the boat around. And then we got the shark, the buoys, and the boat in perfect condition to bring the animal back to the lift and swing it into the crate. I hate to do this to you. She looks like she wants to come in backward. She just keeps fighting us back over that way. Can you just have the divers remove the gate? Switch the gate. Bring it up. We got to pull off the ladder. Fish is setting up on the wrong side of the boat. So like before, we have to remove our end gate and switch it over to the other side. This is a strong shark for sure. How long are we on this one? 44.50. Ooh. The funny thing is, is that once we pretend like we know what the shark wants to do, she does something entirely different every time. We're 50 yards from the slip. Tell me if you, any time you want me to bail out, you're gonna have to call it pretty soon. Looks good this time, Chris. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna just try to swing it in. She's got both fins high out of the water. Do not let it sound. Okay, fins are, both fins are out of the water. Both fins back. are out of the water. We gotta pull her into the cradle. She's too far over. She's too far over. Up, 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 up cradle up, 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 cradle up. up. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah! Way to go, Woo! way to go! That was better. That was better than the last one. That's way better. Look at the bites on her side. You, you timed that perfect. That was so money. Get that water in its mouth. We in? Yeah. How's it coming out that gill over there? Good? Yeah, you got good water flow. We're gonna start with the DNA samples. We're gonna just take them right off the dorsal fin this time. Who Save has some the time. Drill? Don't worry about the drill. We're gonna do this first. Hold that. There's one. Can't see. It's in. Give it a shake. Here's another one. Okay, perfect. 189, 190. 190 overall. Is a female doc? Big female, yeah. She's got a crook. Oh, she's curled over. 
This particular shark was very easy to identify because it had an unusual shape to its fin and body. And immediately Domeyer recognized it from his identification book. It was a shark named Kiko. We see this shark here every other year. It's been making its migrations in that condition. I'm wondering about this tag. You know, this fin is bent over. So the, how well it fins is gonna definitely be a little bit affected by that bend. She's six minutes out of the water. What we've learned in our studies at Guadalupe Island is that the males come back every year, but the females don't. They only come every other year. What we don't know is in that odd year when the females are not there, where the heck do they go? We have no idea. And when we get that information back, we have just advanced our knowledge of this species tremendously. How's the irrigation looks, Brett? Good. Water looks coming good. Out, coming out that one good. I'm getting some out of this and I'm switching it in a second. Hook location, Brett. Corner of the mouth. Left side. Hook removed. Yep. We'll take that. Got the hook out, fellas. Good job. All right, blood from this would be a really good thing. No, blood ain't gonna happen. Can't get blood. This is very disappointing. Holy moly, how big have you been? How are you doing in the tag? You're in a bad sport.